Hello, everybody. How we doing? Dr. Sam here again. Today, we're going to be covering the LIFO method under the perpetual inventory system. In a recent video, I did one uh, showing you how to do FIFO. I'm going to now use the same data, and we're going to do the LIFO method. So I'm going to bring up my screen, and we're going to do the LIFO method. And let's get going on this. Right? So under the LIFO method, remember that uh, LIFO stands for last in, first out. So if you recall from the previous video, if you watch that one, uh, I use the exact same data and notice that the prices are going down. And when the prices are going down, it's going to favor the FIFO method. So if you've watched the one before, uh, you'll notice we had an answer for cost of goods sold. In fact, I have it right here. Here's our cost of goods sold result, $84 worth of a write-off. I will predict that the number we get under cost of goods sold under LIFO will be smaller than that. So when the prices go down, advantage FIFO, right? And so LIFO isn't a good strategy in this situation, but let's see if I can prove it to you. So here we go on January 1st, we start out with the eight units at $8. which is 64. And just like in the previous video, I will color code this to make it easy for you to follow so you can compare the data to how we do it. Next transaction, we bought two. And this is happening on January 3rd. And that is two units at $6 for a total of 12. Again, like I said in the previous video, you can pretend these are millions or thousands or whatever, okay? So we got two at six equaling 12. So let's add that to our balance column. Remember your balance column has to be tracked chronologically. So I have to show the eight at eight that I had, and I have to show the two at six that I just acquired. So, I had $64 worth of inventory. I just bought $12 worth of more inventory. I now have 76. So the number one question that usually comes up by students is like, why am I writing the eight if the eight is already there? And the best way that I can look, I can kind of explain this is, imagine that the January 3rd is a snapshot and January 1st is a snapshot. And you wanna see what exactly is in your inventory on January 3rd. I've got eight units at eight two at six. So again, imagine I hid this first one. You should be able to tell your supervisor exactly what you have in inventory just by looking at January 3rd. Okay, so I've got eight at eight, two at six. Ready? So let's go ahead and on January 10th, it says we sold six. So we're doing the LIFO method. Remember, LIFO stands for last in, first out. So the last ones that came in were the twos, twos at sixes. So let's get rid of them. But I have to sell a total of six. So that means I got to go into my $8 group and grab four more from there. So I've got two times six plus four times eight. That's $44. So what do I have left in inventory? Well, out of the original eight at eights, I got rid of four of those. So I got four at eight left, and I don't have any more of the $6 ones. They're gone. So four times the eight, my inventory balance is 32. And that was that light blue color. So now let's go ahead and Let's go to January 17th and buy some more. So on January 17th, it says we bought eight units, but look at the selling price or our, our unit costs actually. So it's only $4 now. Remember originally the inventory cost us eight, then it cost us six. And now it's the same stuff is costing us just four. So we're thrilled as a buyer, no doubt about it. So there's the cost of $32. So what is our inventory made up of? Well, I have my old four and eight, and I have an additional eight more units that cost me $4.
So my inventory balance has now gone up to $64. And then finally, on January 31st, it says we sold six. Which six are we selling? So think about that for a second. Look at your orange date and you're pulling from the balance column. Remember, we're doing LIFO. So the last ones that came in are the first ones out. So if we're selling six, we're selling the $4 ones. So six at four for 24 bucks. What does that leave us in inventory? Well, I still have all four of my $8 ones. And out of the $4 group, I only have two left. Leaving us with just $40 worth of inventory. And as I did in the last video, and I showed you at the beginning of this one. Here is the total write-off, $68 under the LIFO method. Take a look at the FIFO one that we did in the previous video, $84. So I proved what I said before. So when you have prices going down, the best method to get the best bang out of your tax impact. In other words, to pay the least amount of taxes. When prices are going down, you wanna be using FIFO. If prices are going up, if you're in inflation, uh, in an inflationary time, then you wanna be using LIFO. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to watch the one on FIFO, please make sure you go back and watch that one. Again, this is Dr. Sam. Good luck on your, your tests, your, you know, your assignments. Good luck in accounting one or accounting two, whichever class you might be having to do this work in. And, uh, you know, leave me a comment. Please subscribe. And hopefully, uh, you know, if you've got some other data that you or other content that you want me to cover, just send me a little note. You know, hit go into community, write a note in there, and uh, I'll see what I can do. All right. Take it easy again. Bye-bye.